Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all doing great. Uh, if you like that video, press on that like button, subscribe if you see more uh, benchmarks of this kind. And today's uh, PC video, we are benchmarking Valorant on the Ryzen 5 5600X and the GDX 960 2GB model. Um, the cooler is uh, by Galax. So yeah, it's a pretty good budget decent uh, GPU that I got for around 107 bucks, 110, somewhere in that neighborhood. And I gotta tell you, Nvidia GPUs work so well on Valorant, like better than AMD GPUs at times. At a 1080p low settings, I don't know if it's competitive or not. I don't know really competitive settings, but I will double check if it's competitive, then I'll type it in the video uh, title. We're getting crazy frame rates we can get 500 frame rates at times <laughs> actually at 1080p low settings we we are consistent on 300 360 frame rates per second it, it shows you how good this cpu is and valorant is actually a very cpu intensive game if you don't know uh the cpu is for like 300 dollars while the gpu is for 100 bucks i was playing that with agent ko we got our ass handed to us uh but only because we didn't have the best team out there and uh, yeah, that's what uh, pretty much everybody says, but it is what it is. And I didn't perform well, so I just am um, showing you highlights of how I performed this uh, game. And at the last round we won, I actually went God Mode or went Ultra Instinct, and I got four kills. But I gotta hand this off to also to one of my friends who told me where uh, the final one is. Uh, one more thing: the only reason there is no audio in this vid uh, or the gameplay audio because uh, Shadowplay for some reason records uh, the gameplay and also Discord calls at the same time. It's a good thing for gamers but not for me you know i don't want you to hear me yelling or you hear my friends maybe they want to be in the video you know and we were losing so i guess it wasn't the <laughs> most fun thing to listen to you know what i'm saying but anyways i actually like this game a lot it's one of my favorite games now it's the only game i play right now i haven't played uh, a game that much since i believe fortnite dropped which was like three years so, or maybe four even you know uh, i mean time flies anyways but hey if you want to play valorant and stream at 240 frames per second 300 ish over that you just have to get a ryzen 5th gen cpu a 5600x and uh, or maybe a 5800x if you're streaming and a budget gpu so as i told you valorant isn't a gpu intensive game it's only a cpu intensive game and a very cpu intensive one if you want to get high frame rates so so yeah, the GPU market won't stop you and I guess the GDX 960 is actually a very good GPU that will deliver so hard and links will be down below of course uh, for the 962GB model and the 4 gigs model. It depends on what other games you play. If you play other intensive games, get the 4GB 960. If you only play Valorant, get the 2GB or you know FPS intensive games like CSGO, Battlefield. Yeah, a 2GB GPU will do just fine. So hey, that's been it guys. If you want to see me commentate on the gameplay next time uh let me know uh this actually will be very be beneficial if you leave a comment if you want to see me you know a play while talking or talk while playing <laughs> i can't do both so i only do one thing and uh yeah that's been it see you in the next one and peace